I've got a chart here which we've been working on before. I'm just going to tidy it up by right clicking on the chart, going to studies, removing all of the studies that were in the graph, pressing apply, and then we're back to a, a blank chart. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up DTI, which is going to look like, uh, actually I was going to show you a pre-loaded one, but I don't have uh, a sort of, here's one I prepared earlier moment. So we're just going to have to do it from scratch, which is fine. Now there's a couple of prerequisites here. You are going to need to already have contacted me on Telegram Messenger and given me your username for your account so I can add it into Sierra Charts. Okay. Once that's happened, we're ready to go. If you haven't done any of those prerequisite bits, then go and do that. Contact me on Telegram, send me your username, and I'm waiting until I've told you that it's active. Once it's activated, just restart Sierra Charts, and then it should hopefully, uh, everything I'm going to show you now will be the same for you. Okay, if you're not sure where to find the username, go to Help, click About. Your username is the account name. Also, just check this version number, okay? Uh, mine's a 64-bit version, but I'm actually going to close this and use the 32-bit version because sometimes DTI doesn't always work on 64 bits. It does for me, but sometimes I've heard from other users that it doesn't, so I'll show you how to do that too. So I'm going to click Exit. Uh, yep, I'm going to save all of those. And in my Sierra Charts installation folder, there are two Sierra Charts. That was the one I was on, and this is the one I'm going to use. So that's the 32 bit version. Double click on that, log in like you normally do. Okay, it seems I haven't used this one before, so I'll click on Allow Access. Click Close here, and I wonder whether. I can open a chart book. That was the demo I was using. Nah. It's pretty much there. But it's also on a one minute chart with bar charts, so it actually hasn't. Oh well. Well, let's just do a couple of the changes that we did on a previous session, because we've done all the changes in the 64 bit version and not the 32 bit version. So the changes we need to make, let's turn it into bar charts. There we go, right click, turn it into candlesticks, and we'll turn it to a two minute chart. And remember to do that, just type 2M or click F5 and turn that to a two. Okay. All right, so let's go and add DTI. We right click, we go to studies, we click on add custom study down here. and you may or may not have more options or less options in here but you should see this here which is DAX Trader underscore DTI okay click the plus sign click DAX Trader in intraday click add click apply that's it okay now in essence that is the indicator that's kind of all you need however there is also a template file which you can use which will be included as part of the downloads folder um, in this video so if you want to use that then go and get that and then what you'll need to do let's just show you so I may as well just copy a version of it myself let's just go over here and uh, may as well just grab it from my other installation folder should have prepared that one in advance, never mind. Which one do I want? Let's go with... I've got quite a few different versions of it. I think that one will be fine. So let's copy that one. And let's get back into our installation folder and share it up. Okay, here we go. So in my on my clipboard I have the file that I'm going to paste uh, so let's just go into demo, let's just create a new folder here and let's just call this um, template file DTI template file there we go so what we're going to do 
once you've downloaded and extracted this file because it will probably be in a zip folder once you've downloaded or you have this file click it copy it and go into your Sierra charts demo or oh, it's not a demo folder for you it is for me and we're going to your Sierra charts folder go into data and anywhere there just click paste okay now you may or may not have to restart Sierra let's test it if we go up to analysis oh I don't have to so hopefully you don't either but if you click that that's the template so that will just add a couple of extra things in so if we right click studies it's added in a few of these bits as well okay. so what is all of this stuff and how do we use it well that's a good question come and get some coaching and I'll teach you all about it how many kidding well of course I mean I know a lot of you do do that but if you just want to try and know how this works straight off the bat um, there's a few different elements to this and they all work together in order to provide a signal and what I'm noticing here is that and you might be able to notice it too is that the the arrows and the lines and charts are not quite setting up the way that they should uh, probably a setting which I haven't quite yet remembered where that is or what it's doing but like you can see here the arrows are not lining up with the charts they're almost lining up with a different part of it and we need to try and figure out what that is I might look into that to try and fix it but any anything's like this let me know of because on my own one I guess I've taken for granted that I've made a lot of changes to my platform that you might not have done on yours so if it looks like this it's a bit odd so I'll try and figure out why that's doing that it's probably just because my range over here I had it set on independent yeah there we go yours probably isn't independent it probably was automatic anyway so you probably wouldn't have had that problem but I'm glad I accidentally found that issue okay so that's how it should look with the arrows underneath price and when you move things around it goes with it and it's not independent anyway let's come back to this uh, the question which is what does all this stuff mean okay so there are a few different elements the first element is the coloring of the price action candle okay and the color differences are either going to be green or dark blue or yellow uh, I haven't got an example of yellow there's one or neutral which is just red and white okay when price action is red and white it's, don't worry nothing's happening it's just neutral when price action is dark blue it means it's time for selling potentially and when price action is green it's time for buying we look for situations where it turns to green or to the dark blue and it's not often that you see it go straight from blue to green it normally goes uh, into the in between stage first you know red and white first but you're looking for situations where it turns from uh, into either green or dark blue and buy if it goes green or, or sell if it goes uh, dark blue okay the next element is the overlay so red and the green and they run for a particular well they run throughout the day in fact so what I do is I combine them together I look to sell when the overlay is red and I look to buy when the overlay is green okay so I'm not going to buy when it's red and I'm not going to sell when it's green okay so it's kind of like you're looking for a double confirmation you're looking for two greens two greens you're looking for a green overlay and green candle to buy and you're looking for a red overlay and well, it should be a red candle really but dark blue candle in order to sell all right okay the next part of the element would be the lines and the dots okay so the lines the middle line is VWAP which is volume weighted average price the lower line is the deviation low which is two standard deviations below VWAP similar to a Bollinger Band but also in very very different and this line up here is the deviation high 
Okay, it's similar to the deviation low, but it's two standard deviations higher than VWAP, which is that one. Okay, the super trend dots. This is like a parabolic SAR. Okay, it's a way of trailing a stop loss or managing your stops for a trade. When price closes below the stop loss dots, you can get out of a trade if you're long. Uh, whenever you're short, the dots will be above price. So whenever price closes above those, you can get out of the trade. They're also useful. So for example, in this case here with this trade, I remember we'll use these tools that we've got. Stop loss there, entry into price here. Look for four to one, which is actually off the screen, somewhere up there, pretty close, and actually target. And that's what you're aiming for. I don't think it actually got there today, did it? No, they didn't. So if price was to close below these dots, you can get out of the trade. But notice how they continually trail all the way up. And that would have been the moment there where you could have got out of the trade. All right. And that is a crash course on some of the basics of how to use DTI. There's a lot more advanced stuff that you can use with it, like for example how to use VWAP bounces, maybe how to use deviations to get out of trades, how to tighten up your stop losses whenever you see these yellow candles, because a yellow candle is where price has closed above the deviation high. Okay. There's also other things you can do with some of the settings because maybe you would want to change the, the arrows to appear at different times to what I've got. Maybe you want to work out how to use it with different time frames or on a tick chart. Maybe you want to program it so you're um, getting it to send you alerts in a certain situation, whatever it might be. These are the kinds of things which people come to me for and we do private sessions on. If that's something you're interested in, then send me a message. But that should get you up and running for how to use the basics for DTI. All right, guys, I hope it serves you as well as it serves me. Um, I absolutely love Sierra Charts. Um, DTI is a strategy which is fantastic. So combination is great, and there are many, many more strategies to come. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope it was useful for you. And uh, if you do like what we're doing, then like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in some of the future videos, guys. Take care.